He's like, don't do what Bartholomew does. And she's like, okay. <laughs> I feel like that would be the lesson. And Bartholomew's like, hey. Hi, this is Cass from Mozzie Cass Plays and welcome back to the final part of the priest generation of my medieval legacy challenge. As I guessed, Jacob did not get promoted in between parts. He should get promoted today. He's going to work now. He's in that little excellent band. If he doesn't, I, I'd say I'd flip the table, but my table's pretty heavy. It's not flippable. My coffee table might be flippable. I guess it doesn't have to be my desk. But anyway, it's fine. So Gabriel, I've had him actually take the day. Oh my God, put some clothes on. Elphaba, you're freezing. You're making me cold. I think she's in a workout wear, but I don't care. I've had him take the day off because he just needs to be friends with two adults. I had him make friends with Richard Goth. I had him make friends actually with a sim he'll be friends with when he moves, which is Galahad Norris, who is Eleanor's son, because she married Asher Norris. I was like, I blanked on his first name. She married Asher and they've had a son named Galahad. Maybe he's again been corresponding or maybe Galahad was in town. The other sim I kind of was thinking I'd like him to make friends with is actually Lucas because it is the boy's birthday today. And if Gabriel is moving with Lucas to the estate once he becomes a teen, it makes sense to me that maybe Lucas would come here and spend a bit of time with him. Obviously I am shoehorning this all into one day, but ah, Agatha. Sorry, that was Agnes. But that is just how it works in The Sims because it's not like I'm playing on long lifespan, I'm playing on regular lifespan. So once these guys are friends, which they are, I'm going to send her away. I'm going to invite Lucas over. Lucas is also his uncle. So it kind of makes sense that they know each other anyway. Can I not send Monique away? Maybe I should actually have these guys just have a catch up. It's been a while. How do you not know your aunt Olive? Go make friends with her. I forgot to mention in the last part, Olive did have a baby girl. Her daughter was actually born on the same day Gerard passed away. I decided Olive's labor was triggered by the stress. So Olive's daughter is named Geraldine after Gerard. It's the closest I could think of. I'm happy for other suggestions if you guys have got one. If it had been a boy, I would have named him Gerard after his granddad, but obviously not so much. So he's actually just completed his aspiration which is awesome. I still want Lucas to come over. I just think it makes sense. If he's going to, you know, hop in a carriage at the end of this part and move out, it makes sense that Lucas would be here. So we'll invite Lucas over. It's funny how Olive dropped in for just long enough and I was like, sure, no, you aren't. I was planning for that last adult sim to be Lucas, but that's fine. It's fine. It's done. So he's completed two aspirations. He did Social Butterfly and he got... Whiz kid. This combination of traits hopefully will make it pretty easy for him, relatively speaking, in the business career. Can I afford yet? It's a bit early to buy it because he's only aging up to be a teen. If I could get him connections. Yeah, he can't afford it. We're saving up for connections because that way when he finishes high school, he should start quite advanced. So the noble generation need to complete the business career. I've decided to run with that. Lucas is actually at the top of the business career already. So I thought it would be a good chore. I love it. He's just sitting here. It's like, hmm. So let's go and do a respectful introduction to the man who's about to leave you a fortune. Well, I say about to. Lucas, I think, should be an adult by now. I don't think I've aged him up yet. I will. No, let's not. That's, that's weird. Stop that. Stop that. Nope. I do not like that animation. Stand up. Put that away. Enthuse about Baroque music. We're trying to make a good impression. We'll talk about our dreams. Maybe I can add them to a group and we'll get them to come and sit here together and have a talk just because his mum's hogging the couch upstairs. It's actually her birthday in like uh, two days and then it's Caroline's birthday two days after that, but we will have moved house by then. So sad. We won't be here for that, but you know, that's what happens in these challenges. So that's fine. Uh, no, not cuddle. Let's discuss fractions. He's trying to make a good impression. I'm choosing these interactions deliberately. Likes and dislikes. Let's get to know him. Ask about his day. How was the trip, sir? And Lucas will be like, you don't need to call me, sir. You can, you can call me Uncle Lucas. Oh, Caroline just became an A student. Bartholomew wants to invite George over. That's fine. Talk about school. 
and brag about our grades, chat about Bible verses. How long has he got? Two hours. Oh my God. I'm actually nervous that he's not going to get it. Work harder, Jacob. Decode holy books quicker. By the way, Caroline did finish her aspiration. She actually, after she finished those pictures, she only needed to spend an hour on the organ. So I had her do that. I'm just going to have her play now. How are we going? I have made a cake. I've just got it sitting here. But like I said, I want to wait for Jacob. I'm actually scared. What if he... Oh, he's got the tick. Oh, thank God. I was like... Because <laughs> if this wasn't the last part, I'd be like... I'd be mad. I'm actually really excited to move on with Gabriel. Leaving the chaos of Bartholomew behind. The funniest part, because he's done so much charity work and everything, he has like best friend relationships with both his parents like I feel like he gets on with them better than any of the other kids do because I've had him doing all the charity work they've been spending more time interacting with him disciplining him and getting him to do stuff and because it hasn't always resulted in a negative relationship here they're actually BFFs and it's really funny to me she's gonna say eating dirt is really unhealthy I don't usually tick that one I mean I wouldn't recommend it but you know it's a bit crunchy between the teeth Jacob has unlocked the workaholic lifestyle. Honestly, I'm surprised it took him that long. I had him have a resolution to get promoted, so that's a good sign. He is a writer of the faith. Father Jacob is promoted to prophet writer of the faith. Oh, I missed the word prophet. No, 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 come back. He will make an additional 40 per hour for a grand total of 100. He got a big bonus and his next shift is on Monday. So I guess we'll have everyone come up here. She's already here. We're going to age up the twins. This is exciting. Everyone has arrived, so we're going to start with Gabriel, because he was the older twin, hence the whole air thing. So yeah, Lucas is probably talking about the trip and trying to amp Gabriel up, like, oh, you know, we'll get to see all these really interesting sights on the way, like maybe some ruins or that kind of thing. Because I expect Gabriel's probably actually super nervous, because he's about to move away from like his entire family. The only other consolation for him is that Mira, who he gets on with quite well, they're best friends, like they're good friends. Well, since we're having some simulation lag. Oh, there we go. I was going to have her put candles on the cake because I don't trust Bartholomew or any of them really. But he's a bookworm. I mean, prop is a great trait for this challenge, but he is a little bit mischievous, like not like his brother, but he's a little bit. So I'm not sure it's a good fit. Loyal's the new trait. Actually, maybe we'll do that because I've not played with this trait. We'll go with loyal. Loyal sims value their relationships and fully commit to them, whether they're friendship, romance, or even work. They avoid lying and cheating because their loved one's trust is very important to them. Let's do that. It's that kind of influence from his parents. So we've got this from Mira. This is from his parents. For the noble generation, if you complete the bonus, your parents knowledge makes you a quick learner i will check that on because we did complete the bonus which was for jacob to complete his aspiration in fact mira completed the textbook aspiration and he did a different one but i did both so it's fine there's actually no aspiration for this generation which is interesting i think it's the first time so he needs to join the business career the girls in the family clean and cook the boys study any topic uh they have to have a two-story house we're gonna have that Marry before you age up to adult. The heir is the firstborn sim, which is interesting because it just means the next gen doesn't have to be a king. It could be a queen. The bonus is to max out two skills. So I actually can pick any aspiration that I want. I think this might be the first time there hasn't been an aspiration. Friend of the world we've done twice now. We did that with Gerard and Jacob. I'm not sure I want to go with that. I feel like knowledge, but it can't be computer whiz. I don't want to do academic. Nerd brain, I think, involves a lot of... Is that the one that involves handiness? I don't actually think he can do any of those. Ugh. I mean, I don't have to complete the aspiration, so really I can pick what I want. We're going to move to Henford on Bagley. Country caretaker. I mean, we are going to be... Like, he's moving to a farm. He's going to be managing an estate as well as everything else. We could do that. It does. I'll do that to start with. But at the point when we have to like win prizes at fairs and stuff, I'm probably going to tap out and do something else because it doesn't matter. So that's great. All right. He got some gifts. We'll have a quick look at his face. Interesting. Oh, he looks so much like his granddad. Look at that jawline. I'm getting serious Gerard energy from that. Come over here. Someone needs to add candles so that we can age up Bartholomew. And then obviously 
nothing about that other than like I'll keep his face and everything like I'm not going to change his bone structure but the hair and everything's all going to change so he's going to sneak taste of the cake George you're leaving just before the cake that's an interesting choice come back here oh my god poor Bartholomew come here Oh, she wants to insult George. She's ha still on her mean streak, so, you know. And then I'm going to have him taste the frosting. So that should age him up. And then I'll give them both makeovers. Yay! Happy birthday! I love you, Bartholomew, but honestly, I'm happy that we're moving. Spotlight fading, all right. He's outgoing. I, given all of his mischievous behavior, goofball is tempting, but it's playfulness. Oh, I've got a custom one, actually. Like to have fun playing harmless tricks on others. Maybe we'll put him on that. We'll put him on the custom one because it suits him. He wants to throw in a 10 parties. Let's go with that. He looks actually a lot like his twin. I mean, he's got the better eyebrows out of the two. But yeah, interesting. Let's jump into Cass and give them both a makeover. All right, you guys, I've done the makeovers. Obviously, I've tailored them to the different life's journeys that these scenes are going to have. So Gabriel will be our noble lord. He's got such a straight nose. The, the straight noses in this family leave something to be admired. He's also got very full lips. His brother's lips are quite a bit narrower. It was something I didn't really notice until I was in Cass. But I've kept the dead straight hair and it's all like neatly brushed back. He probably combs it with water or oil or something. This is his first everyday wear outfit. Then for his second one, I on the country caretaker idea, I've put him in something a bit more, you know, he's out. Probably not tending, more like inspecting. He will have a butler. My biggest concern with the next gen is going to be keeping the house under control because while it says the female sims do the chores, I don't see Judith doing anything. And Mira, there's a limit to what she can do. It's a big property. So I'm kind of thinking hopefully the butler will help, but we'll see how it goes. I'm actually excited to see. This is his formal wear. Obviously, his son is going to, or, ch or child, doesn't have to be his son. His child is going to be a monarch. So, you know, we're into that space now. I'm actually super excited, if you can't tell. I gave him two different sleepwear outfits. This is the one I'd like to imagine. I may end up deleting the other one because if he's wandering around the house in his pajamas, which Sims love to do, can't imagine him bumping into Judith in his undergarments. That'd be terribly scandalous. We've got that. I did give him swimwear, but it's the same. Then we've got that. He's got two hot weather outfits. This one's, it just doesn't have a jacket. <laughs> Still long, proper. This one has the hose and stuff though, but it has a jacket. So either way, he's going to be miserable. It's fine. And then this is his cold weather. So that's exciting. And I'll show you Bartholomew's real quick. Obviously he's, oh, that's his pajamas. Let me just, let me just switch. So I'll show you his face first. See what I mean? His lips are not as full. He's got the same features as his brother, but they're kind of dialed down a bit. So same jawline, similar shaped lips, but smaller. The nose isn't quite as strong. The eyes aren't quite as strong. Like it's the same but less, if that makes sense. And I don't actually mean that in a negative way because I think Bartholomew probably got more using air quotes like more normal less distinctive features and distinctive isn't in terms of what is considered handsome distinctive isn't always considered good so i think he might be the more attractive of the two brothers but you know gabriel inherits a large estate so he's not bitter so this is his every day we have formal i this is probably a bit too informal but i kind of really love this jacket so <laughs> Kind of like, let's go with that. It's fine. He will be at his brother's wedding when, he, when his brother marries Amy. So we will see his formal wear. Uh, maybe I should change it. I don't know. Then we've got his sleepwear. He only get one out, one of each outfit because obviously we're about to move. That's his party. He's got the same sleep swimwear as his brother. That's his hot weather. A little bit less formal. And his cold weather. And I am actually going to change his formal wear. I've reconsidered. I do really love this jacket. It came with... Discover University. It's marked as custom content because it's locked. It's a career reward because it's unlocked via a mod. I just, I didn't want him to be in like a full tux, but that's probably a bit better. But then I need to find him pants that match. Ah, uh, it's too hard. I'll just put him in some formal wear. It's fine. It's formal wear. For his brother's wedding, he would dress up. That 
will be his formal wear. I like it. I like both of them. They're both adorable. So I am going to have Gabriel either make copies of all of the photos or take them. Like what I'm doing in Berry, I'm moving the photos from house to house. And I like the idea of the water state ending up covered in photos of the Whitlock family. I'm excited to move on. I know I've said that before. I also am a little bit sad. I'm going to let them eat their cake and stuff. After this part is recorded, I have to age up probably a bunch of Sims. Like Amy needs to become a teen, that kind of stuff. So there'll be a bit. Uh, Anaya's birthday is next part, but won't be like we won't be here for it, which is a bit sad. I mean, in theory, she could come to the estate to visit her son, make sure he's settled in okay, but she's still got to run the church, like, keep the church clean and tidy, like, she has actual responsibilities and stuff, so I don't think The Sims will be coming to visit much, because I imagine Henford on Bagley from here is at least a full day's carriage right away. You know, they'd leave in the morning and then arrive at dinner time. Like, it's not a short journey. It would be quicker on a horse, so Bartholomew could potentially come and visit more quickly, but the ladies of the house would not because they wouldn't be riding horses. Ooh, his manners are in good range. Oh, he's got empathy. That's because of all the charity work. I guess I'll have him go around, give his, give his brother a hug. Caroline a loving hug. The parents have gone to bed already, which is a bit sad. Uh, teach a valuable lesson to Caroline. Oh, my boys. Can't believe they're moving. He's moving out. He's like, don't do what Bartholomew does. And she's like, okay. <laughs> I feel like that would be the lesson. And Bartholomew's like, hey. It's like, of course you want to be like me. I am the most awesome of them all. <laughs> Love that. She's like, okay. I think she'd be asking Gabriel if he's nervous. And he'd be putting on a brave face because he wouldn't want her to worry. Ask where the moon went. Wait, is it a new moon? Oh, it is. I didn't know there was an interaction for that. That's cute. They're all going to go to sleep. And in the morning, well, I'll move him in the morning, but we'll imagine a whole day has passed in the meantime because of what I just said. Uh, next time you see him, he'll be at the water state. All right, guys. So you can keep me honest. The rules of the challenge for the noble generation say they start with 150,000 simoleon lot value. This lot is worth 206. So what I'm going to do is I think Jacob and I have got about 70,000 in household funds. I'm going to make it so that that 70,000 is added to the top of the 150. So that gives him 220. I'm going to subtract this. I'll just say 207. So he will start with starting funds of 13 thousand simoleons i think that's right the water state family currently has more than that i'm actually going to cheat it down that way when he, we start this generation he's going to start with 150 plus the money from his parents so i haven't moved him in yet this is before i add in all the family photos and stuff because it will go up with the value especially of the painting we've ended which is over a thousand we'll imagine the wards are kind of on rough times but it will also balance out because lucas is at the top of the business person career so he will be earning money while gabriel is a teen which will hopefully be enough to at least cover the bills until gabriel can start earning money all right you guys i've moved gabriel across so this house currently consists of lady judith mira lord lucas and gabriel i just thought i'd show you quickly i've put the family photos up obviously this is olive and zachary we've got rose and thomas we have vivienne and joseph then over here it's a bit more modern we've got christina and gerard my babies this is jacob and anaya obviously we have the christina and gerard i've put olive and oh, sorry oliver and jewel here and there were a couple more because i didn't have space these are like other than the picture of Caroline, obviously, this is more extended family. So we have David and his wife, Alana. We have Isabella, who was Gen 2, and Martha when she was a little toddler. That was actually taken by Mortimer. We've got Annabella, who is Vivienne's sister, and her husband, whose name I've forgotten. And we have a more recent photo of Eleanor 
and Asher. So that's all of them. Then I also have his room is quite plain at the moment because this was actually Anaya's bedroom. Like he hasn't really had his stamp on it in terms of stuff. He's got a photo here of himself and Bartholomew. There's a couple of thingies. This was made by Anaya. We've got one more picture of Gerard and Christina up here. Not super realistic. I mean, it is his grandparents, so I guess that he'd have that there, but I thought he'd want to have one of Bartholomew in his room in particular. So this is currently his bedroom. Mira's room is actually next door, and I moved all of her stuff from her room in the old house, like in the church, and I shoehorned it all in here. It's actually, I love how cluttered this is. Just like books everywhere. This is from when she was a teacher. She got that as a reward. Her little typewriter here, which is her computer, obviously, and all of her knickknacks and crystals and all that kind of stuff. I do not know why there is that just hanging on the wall there. That's fine. So that's Mira's room. Obviously it has a lot more of a stamp of her personality. This is the nursery here. This is Lord Lucas's room, which doesn't seem super fancy given he is the lord of the estate. That is because his mother hasn't moved out. She was married to Lord Colin, who was Anaya and Lucas's father. And when he passed away, she did not let her group of this space go. So ultimately, this will be the space that Gabriel and his future wife, that will be their space. And this will be like his private study and stuff. She's an elder now. So we'll see how that goes. She's in the house with aging on. So she, she, her age will be what it is. I've shown you guys this property before. I did have Gabrielle bring a bunch of like fruit and veg from our fridge because I want to plant all this out. And the way it works in The Sims is if you plant a magnificent spinach, you get a magnificent spinach. And it should mean that this will be more productive. And it should be because it's already an existing estate. You'll see we have just over 15,000 Somalians. It turned out we had a bit more money than I thought we did. But I also need to like buy a cow and buy some chickens. This lot does have simple living on it. I will be continuing with that. I can't imagine Judith would ever set foot in this kitchen. Poor Mira is probably doing the bulk of the work. And I don't know if these guys have currently got a butler, but I will hire one. This is the butler's accommodation out here. Mira, can you like welcome? Oh, she is hungry. But before you do that, let's brighten Gabriel's day and talk about our dreams. I think she'd be like, you know, welcome, welcome, and trying to make him feel at home and stuff, giving him a tour, all of that kind of thing. Oh, we do have a butler. Good. Excellent. That's what I like to see. In the next part, we will be playing in this household. I am super excited, super excited for some new gameplay challenges. I may, if you guys are super keen at different points, I may have like Bartholomew come and stay for a bit, that kind of thing, or maybe Caroline will... Because he can do that now, because he will be the Lord and he has the space. This place technically I think is five bedrooms, so you know, he could have his siblings come out and that kind of thing. And obviously he'll be maintaining his correspondence with Princess Amy. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you're as excited as I am for the next generation. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, you know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.